What is going on guys and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Runs show. I hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. We have some massive news coming from the NFL world. The Jacksonville Jaguars will be hiring Urban Meyer as their next head coach. And I mean, this is a big move and obviously just a fantastic hiring. If you are a Jacksonville Jaguars fan, you fire your coach on January 4th after a franchise worst 1 in 15 season where you really were just awful offensively and defensively and really entering just a pivotal point in your franchise you know picking number 1 in the upcoming draft and getting what's most likely very very talented quarterback in Trevor Lawrence um, and I think Urban Meyer, as we'll discuss a little bit later on in the video, um, is just a fantastic guy to start dealing with the young guys that you're planning to bring on and, you know, a much needed change in direction in sort of where the Jaguars have been trending in the past few years. Um, just before we break this all down, make sure you head on to the Touchdowns to Home Run store. Um, we just added some merch for this hiring. Urban 2021, nice Jaguars logo there as well. The merch itself is fantastic quality, obviously a great design as you can see on the screen as well. That's in the Touchdowns to Home Run store. The link for that will be down in the description. Definitely make sure to go down there. Very affordable prices. Definitely make sure to check that out. Um, but back to Urban Meyer, I mean, there's a reason that he was the most wanted coach coming into an NFL offseason where a lot of NFL teams had head coach vacancies. You know, just off the top of my head, Texans, Jets, Lions, Falcons, you know, all really, really could have used a guy like Urban Meyer for a variety of different reasons. I mean, we look at the Texans, um, you know, trending in a really poor direction. You still got a very talented quarterback when you look at Deshaun Watson. Jets, you know, potentially picking Justin Fields, potentially need some help with Sam Darnold, that quarterback. You know, they too um, could have used some help from Meyer. Obviously, the Lions, Falcons as well just fired their coaches, um, experienced quarterbacks at both of their positions. Um, so, you know, before we break down Urban Meyer again, I just want to say this really, really highlights a guy like Robert Sala now um, and the other coaches. These teams are going to be a lot more desperate um, than they have been potentially in the past few weeks. But pretty much we always knew that it was going to be Meyer to the Jaguars. It seemed like that was the team that he was most interested in. And from all the reports that I've seen, that was always the most likely. Um, but as for Urban Meyer, I mean, reports came out. You know that this move was trending in this direction. Um, it came out that Urban Meyer had been assembling a team of, you know, a coaching staff uh, from collegiate assistant coaches, um, people that he liked. So odds are, you know, that we already knew that Urban Meyer um, had a pretty good feeling that he was going to be finalized as the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, but when you look at a guy who has just a fantastic resume, um, you're looking at three national championships, two with the Florida Gators. Um, and one with the Ohio State Buckeyes, um, also coached Bowling Green before, um, but an overall collegiate record of 187 and 32, and just really, really good records, you know, in the SEC and also the Big Ten. And as you can see from my hat, I'm a I'm a big Michigan Wolverines fan, so I've seen Urban Meyer, you know, for for quite a bit of time um, before he left Ohio State. And as much as I hate to say it. Ohio State was a fantastic program, and they're still a fantastic program right now, but Urban Meyer was really the one who, you know, ignited that in the past 10 years. He was a fantastic recruiter at the collegiate level. You know, I like Urban Meyer, not when he's at Ohio State, but I like the guy that Urban Meyer is, and you know, he did some of the broadcasting as well. Just a great guy, a very knowledgeable guy, obviously a fantastic coach definitely knows his football. And I think when, again, you're planning on picking Trevor Lawrence, you know, coming out of Clemson, I mean, also just rebuilding your system. Urban Meyer is just a fantastic guy to do that with because not only oh, what he can do, you know, in terms of coaching on the football field and his knowledge in that aspect, but also having that experience of working with these young guys. And I just think it's really just a perfect, perfect fit. And again, there's a reason that so many teams were so interested in hiring Urban Meyer. Um, as for the Jaguars, they're coming off a season where they gave up a franchise record 492 points and became only the fifth 
team to allow 20 plus points in every game of their 16 game season since the 16 game expansion in 1978. I mean, obviously, my are extremely talented, but the Jaguars are in just an awful position right now. I do think they're going to start trending in the right direction and get better um, progressively, but they still need a ton of work even after they draft Trevor Lawrence. Um, they need focuses around Lawrence offensively. They also need focus a lot, a lot on that defense. Um, as for their offense, they were a bit better than their defense. They ranked 28th or worse, though, in yards per game, scoring, and rushing. Again, you look at a team that really was rightfully so at the bottom of the standings. Um, hopefully, Urban Meyer can figure it out. Um, but again, need to add a lot of talent. And the draft only this year will not do it. So, you know, I don't expect the Jaguars and this move to just magically, you know, make them towards a playoff push. In my opinion, even with Trevor Lawrence, they're a four-win team or worse next year. But you guys can let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments section. And then again, obviously, just another reminder, Jaguars do have that number one pick. Um, it'll be a really, really interesting duo with Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence. I mean, obviously, you see what Trevor Lawrence has done at the collegiate level for Clemson. Um, but also, you know, what Urban Meyer has done working with some very, very talented um, quarterbacks at the collegiate level. Um, and it'll be really interesting to see particularly what Trevor Lawrence can do um, in his first year in the NFL. But again, I, I don't have too, too high expectations. So it'll be really, really interesting to see what the Jaguars can do next year um, and how Trevor Lawrence sort of works into the NFL. Because a, a lot of the rookie quarterbacks really did have good years um, this year. Tua had a solid year. You know, the Dolphins really should have made the playoffs if they didn't choke it in week 17. Um, but Tua had a good year. Burrow was having a good year before he got injured. Hopefully he can bounce back. Um, Justin Herbert didn't have a bad year as well with the Chargers, who were actually fairly decent offensively. Um, so all of that, some big storylines um, that should be happening throughout the rest of the NFL offseason, uh, particularly also looking at Deshaun Watson. And this seems like it is the first of it to happen and also potentially filling those other head coach vacancies of the other NFL teams. But I want to know your thoughts on this particular move with Urban Meyer to the Jaguars down in the comment section below. Also, again, just a reminder, we are putting up the um, Urban 2021 t-shirt designs in the Touchdowns to Home Run store. Great quality merch, great designs. Definitely make sure to check those out. Again, it's the Touchdowns to Home Run store. The link for that will be down in the description below. Um, but if you did like today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs for more content just like this. We cover a bunch of NFL, college football content. So if you're into that, definitely make sure to stick around. Um, but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time.